Okay, we set. <laughs> what is Dungeons and Dragons? Wow. Uh, I guess you could say it's an existential exercise. Blending a medieval setting with fantasy and sci-fi and uh, It's a board other... game. <laughs> That's a little reductive. Yes, technically it's a board game. But actually most of the game takes place in- In your imagination. So it's like a shared narrative. We've been getting together with our college friends like once a month since we graduated. I just love it because it's a game that anyone can play. Sorry, it's been you talk. <laughs> I was elected Dungeon Master after our last campaign. It's actually a position highly sought after of responsibility and power. Noah is Dungeon Master because it is a lot of work and no one else wants to do it. So the job of the Dungeon Master is essentially to run the game for all the players. So whether you're in a Dwarven stronghold or being chased by an evil band of goblins, I basically run all of the characters who aren't players at the table. So I so. play an elven ranger named Princess Adeline. She's like this badass archer that's a mix of like Gal Gadot and Sigourney Weaver. If they'd had a baby with Uma Thurman and Charlize Theron and Michelle Obama. Oh. So, this is how you play Dungeons and Dragons. These are the rule books, but don't let that overwhelm you. You really only need this one. Maybe this one, this one, and these two. Oh. <laughs> This is a book Sarah has been writing. Hey Noah, your mom just called. Why is she calling you? Why haven't you accepted her friend request? Because I don't want to... What did you do? How do you know my password? <laughs> I am a children's book writer. At least that's the plan. Currently I'm teaching at a preschool. But I've been dreaming about writing since I read my first Roald Dahl book. And, well, this is my first attempt. <laughs> Noah actually submitted it to a children's book writing contest, and I didn't think it was ready, but all the contestants get two tickets to Reno, and Noah's been working a lot, so we could really use the vacation. So tomorrow's actually Sarah's birthday. I got her a first edition of The Twits by Rodal. Been working doubles for six weeks. Inconsequential. The question you should be asking is who is the strongest player in the party? I'll let you decide. Haroldine Planta is the name. I am the most powerful wizardress to graduate from Hamwood School of Sorcery. Orphaned from a young age, I had to learn to fend for myself. I now ride my trusty four-legged eagle and cast spells with my oldest stick. Right now, my character is writing an autobiography based on my teen years. It's, it's gonna be a seven-tome epic. Or eight. I might break up the last one and two. I play a necromancer named Bubbles. What? As you walk along the dirt path approaching Long Road Village, a kind, old-looking woman stops you on the side of the road. Oh, hello there. Is she armed? No, she's like 90 years old. Proceed. She's got this crimson knit shawl and a small wicker basket. You said she wasn't armed. Full of daisies. Proceed. Anyways, she looks to Princess Adeline. Ah, an elf. You know, I might have a book for an adventurer like you. She reaches into her wicker basket and pulls out. I attack her with my great axe. What? It's too late, I'm already rolling. <laughs> Critical hit, double damage. You successfully kill a frail old woman. That's right, Captain Explosion. So normally we try to stop Barrett from murdering the elderly, but I need corpses. For reasons. You all walk into the tavern. It's a lively place and there's sailors and merchants sitting all about. I'll have five pints of your finest ale, my good barkeep. All right. Oh, does, does anyone else want a drink? He hands you five flagons of ale. Here you go, you little wizard lass. You know, also, I think you might find this interesting. 
According to the scroll the bartender gave me randomly for no reason, there is an angel trapped by the king of the dragon's peak. An ancient evil entity. Legend has it that if you free the angel, she'll grant you one wish you so desire. It says here the dragon peak is on Troll Mountain? Oh, no. Man. Are you kidding me? Oh, All right, well, good luck. I sure hope somebody saves her. Oh, come on. Troll Mountain isn't that bad. I mean, we're talking about Dragon Peak here. Uh, plus, there's an entombed angel who needs your help. You're just going to leave her in the evil clutches of the evil lord of evil? Ooh, let's go to Candyland. I love Candyland. I right. already saved Candyland from the saliva beast. Yeah, no, I think we definitely need to go back there. I only spent three and a half weeks coming up with an epic through Troll Mountain to Dragon Peak, but oh no, Candyland is under attack again. Dungeons and Dragons is so great because there's so many different aspects to the game. And there's something for everyone. Some people like combat or role playing or making the DM jump through hoops or... Well, I guess we're all going to Candyland then. Captain Explosion is gonna eat his body mass in peanut butter cups. Uh, can you describe Candyland one more time? Sure, let me just find my notes from six months ago. And the cotton candy forest. I'm also gonna need a complete rundown of their economical structure and their government system. Good call. Mm -hmm. Seriously? Oh, Senora Lupe? <gasps> Senora Lupe and the homemade hot tamale. Oh, Sir yeah. John with his Cadbury pie. The caramel <laughs> riverbank. The <laughs> butterscotch <laughs> minions. Oh, they were oh my gosh. Tootsie Roll Kathy? <gasps> Tootsie Roll Kathy was a thing. little bit of a tramp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she gave her well, how about the uh, black licorice ale? Noah, what is wrong with you? Ooh, remember the Kit Kats meow? Oh, best club ever. Yes. Those like gusher pasties that just went everywhere. And those were yeah. sticky to walk on. Avocado snow cones. Okay, a return to Candyland. Why should we go somewhere else? Or we can we can keep going. Okay, well, if we're going to Candyland, we're gonna need another peppermint cipher to speak the gumdrop language because someone ate your last one. Oh, we'll see if Izzy's still laughing when she meets the M&M &M brothers. M stands for murder. M stands for mayhem. That's how I roll O. You all head into the great library of Candlekeep. It's full of scrolls and old tomes on wooden shelves as far as the eye can see. Suddenly, a book catches Princess Adeline's eye. I have to pee. Are there pictures in the book? I don't actually have to pee. There's just a no phone rule at the table and I'm supposed to find out tonight if I made the finals or not. Are you guys sure you don't want to stay in the library just a little while longer? No, I'm sure. I want to leave. Captain Explosion cannot benefit from books. <laughs> it's true. Okay, you all exit the library full of first edition books with your peppermint cipher. Sorry, what I miss? Oh, we just left the library. Oh, I missed it. You didn't miss much. Hey. Hey. So, how do you think it's going so far? I'd give it a B. A B? B minus. Because of Troll Mountain, isn't it? What? No, I love Troll Mountain. Technically, you guys made it out alive. Yeah, because who needs an intact skull? Or limbs. Fair enough. Hey, what was that book Princess Adeline saw in the library? Hey, there she is. I know, it's kind of scary. Hey, uh, I didn't know you were coming. <laughs> I wouldn't miss Sarah Bear's birthday. Honey. Uh, maybe. 